Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're headed up to St. Germain, Wisconsin to fish with our friend and guide, Rob Manthai. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, oh, my, oh my God. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. What do you got? Oh awesome. my gosh. Yes, folks, today is May the 12th, and we're up in St. Germain, and Blake, I'll tell you what, you did not bring enough clothes. We woke up this morning, it was 20 degrees out, and looking at the boat, we had all kinds of frost on, on the seats, we had frost on the windshields. Now, it is supposed to warm up today, and there's a warming trend coming this weekend, but uh, it is interesting coming up here this time of year, you gotta bring all kinds of clothes with you, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you were like, you have to prepare for winter and summer. <laughs> Well, it's always fun to come up with Rob, and uh, May is a great month to be up here, Rob. And what I really enjoy is the fact that uh, we can catch several different species of fish and fish several different lakes in the same day, right? Yeah, the days are getting longer every day, John, so, you know, you have a lot of time to fish and, and lake hop, yeah. I mean, right now, we, we've come off of a really bad cold front, and this is like the first warm-up day, so it'll be amazing to see if the fish do today like what they did last week, one week ago today, but walleyes have been biting good, you know, you're picking up an occasional bass mixed in with them, and on the warm, sunny days like this, the crappie fishing's been outstanding. Well, fun, right? Yeah, we always do here. Yep. Hey folks, the show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. On the water, every second counts. So when there's a fish at 3 o'clock, be right on time with Mega 360 Imaging. Every sweep of our newest technology offers 125 feet of absolute clarity all around your boat. So you can see fish and every detail in every direction. With a clearer picture of what's below, you can catch fish like clockwork. Mega 360 Imaging, only from Humminbird. Hey folks, you can win this all new 2020 Yamaha X2 XTR. This is the same machine that we use on the show. Of course, we depend on Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides to get us where we need to go to catch fish. Now you have a chance to win this one for yourself. This XTR Edition Wolverine is ready for extreme adventure with a factory installed worn winch, special edition paint, color matched wheels, and aggressive GBC Dirt Commander tires. It's really easy to enter. Find the link on our Facebook, Instagram, or website. Good luck. Here we go, Rob. Here we go, Rob. I think it's a nice bass, buddy. A nice bass. Grab that clam, Blake. Grab okay. that clam. Okay. Boy, did he rip that on the paws, too. Clam it up. Oh, my gosh. This is a nice fish. Ooh. Okay, you ready? Okay. Oh, boy, is that a beautiful Ooh, bass. Wow. Nice. What nice fish. All right. Get him in there. Nice job, Blake. Ooh, All right. Nicely I'll done. I'll tell you what. Welcome back, folks. We've been fishing for about an hour, yeah. and it's typical this time of year when you get down to 20 degrees at night for the water, you know, get the sun up and warm it up a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah, the fish kind of had a shock from that cold weather, so they need time to get adjusted to the warmer weather. Well, so. this is a beautiful bass. Hold on, folks. Yeah. I'll get it out of the clay. Wow, take a look Ooh, at that. Nice bass, Isn't that bass. a gorgeous bass? Yeah. And I got that, you know, Pete, you weren't with us in Hayward last week, but Pete kicked my butt. Yeah, I was jealous. What are these called, these Livingston baits? It's called the Livingston Jerkmaster, and it has the EBS sound, which is called electronic bait sound, and the bass clearly love it. So. Yeah, rip, rip, yeah. paws, walleyes love it too. Yeah. And uh, I watched that fish hit on the paws. Yeah, yeah. right yeah. when you switch to that, yeah. you got one. Yeah. Hey, Rob, though, this time of year, you're going to have a lot of bass when you got four. 48 degree water temps sitting on the edges, right? The edge of deep and shallow water. Yeah, especially when we got this little bit colder morning, those fish will probably be off the edge a little bit, John. And, and uh, you know, as it warms up today, they might slide up and catch some of that sun. But yeah, that's what we're just doing. 
and you know it was slow yesterday morning to start with and I'd expect it today too for a while anyways. All right Robbie what do you got there buddy? Another bass. Another bass. I'll tell you it's been slow folks that's about that's the second fish we've caught in the last well probably hour but you know that's so typical this time of year when you get those cold nights your afternoons seem to be the prime time right? Yeah, once we get we get rid of we got a little bit more wind than what we're supposed to have, but um, you know yeah we need it to warm up. <laughs> Enough of these 20 degree mornings, but uh, yeah the afternoons have been definitely better, and I think tomorrow is actually going to be a really good day too, and and going forward like I said, but uh, you know we just got to keep plugging away, and we found a little bit warmer water right here, John, so that might be a key. We've been on this spot for like five minutes, so maybe we'll get a few more fish here. Folks, we caught a couple of bass this morning and then, boy, the fishing just turned off. So we're going to switch gears now and do a little crappie fishing. And Rob and I love this little crappie scrub on a 16th or 32nd ounce jig and just a bobber and cast it out and twitch it. It works. There we go, Rob. That didn't take long, buddy. Let's see what we got here. We have nice ourselves, crappie. ooh, there's a nice crappie. And that's an eater size right there, folks. And again, that Caitlin's crappie scrub, I'll tell you what, has been such a great lure over the years. I th Rob, I think that scrub's the hottest crappie bait around. What do you think? Oh, uh, yeah, it's 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 always the go-to. You know, there's several good colors of it, but yeah, I mean, it, it'll it it'll catch them anywhere. In any place that's got crappies, you're gonna catch fish on that on that plastic. There you go, Rob. Yeah, you got the first one. I got the second one. Well, John. I'll tell you what. I love the way you work crappies, and you just get on that Minkota. And uh, is that a decent one? Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, that is a nice one. But actually what we're doing is we're fishing a big weed flat between, oh, six and ten feet of water. And, and you just use that bow mount to scoot around until you find them, and then you put it on spot lock. Right. And, uh, you know, usually where you find a couple, you're going to find a few more. So hopefully we found a little patch of them here. Ooh, Rob, I'll tell you what, this is a combat sport. I just cast it right where you were, and that's another eater size right there. And, uh, you know, we're here on, on, I think it's May the 12th or whatever, and, and this crappie fishing folks up here will last for another several weeks. This one feels a little bit better, Rob. Nice. That's cool, buddy. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that is a little bit better fish right there, folks. There you go. That's a nice crappie right there. And that's uh, about a 10-incher, folks. And uh, nice and black, Rob. I love that when they're pretty like that. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Come on, Blake. Will you catch a fish? I have been casting right after wherever you guys are <laughs> catching them, and I haven't caught one yet. I haven't caught one all day. Well, just keep trying. That's I what know, they say. I know. That's a nice one. Ooh, let's see that one, Rob. That one really ate it too. I mean, he woofed it in. Woofed? It's there, a we're fish. Ju we're just not finding concentrations no, yet. No, no, and that's all weather related, John. I mean, you know, we just had how many days in a row where it was below freezing that night and major frost and, right. you know, it just we're just, you know, out on, on the start of the warm up. You know, it's going to be curious to see like what's going to happen over the next few days here. Breaking news from Fleet Farm just in time for the walleye season. Flicker Shads, 30% off, just $2.79. Flicker Shads, 30% off, just $2.79. There we go, John. Well, they're, let's see, that's a nice one. Yeah, I mean, these aren't the, the giants that we were catching the other day, but right. I mean, these are all actually really nice fish. Um, and, and how long is that? That's, what, 10? Yeah, it's yeah, it's probably a little 10, 10 and a half. But uh you know, there are bigger ones here. It's just it's just not the same bite right now. I'm very upset. I don't blame you, Blake. You're you're <laughs> Come on, Blake. Well, I'm happy for you, Rob, but oh, I even put the new color on. Yeah, what but, color do you like, Rob, for these lakes up here? You know, it it's a kind of a top 3 type deal. I mean, acid rain Tennessee is really shad. good. Tennessee shad um, lemon meringue. Is that your favorite? Yeah, that's what I got on. <laughs> what is really unusual today is Rob is barely moving that jig, right? Yeah, just letting the wind move it, John. These fish are pretty lethargic and... Clearly. I mean, that's... Yeah, we might be over moving it a little bit, you know. 
Ooh, Rob, look at that one, buddy. Ooh, oh that's my gosh. A gigantic. Holy cow, Rob, is that a gorgeous crappie, buddy? Look at that. And we were just about to switch to walleyes, too, weren't we? Well, we can't stop now. Boy, that is a beauty, man. Now, that was what, about 12, 13? Probably pushing 13, yeah. Beautiful. And does the uh, time of day make a difference this time of year? You can get them all day, right? Yeah, but when it's this cold like this, you know, we're kind of getting to that time where it's going to slow right down, and, and we do got to switch to walleyes eventually. But, you know, the warmest part of the day this time of year is obviously the best time. Right. We were fishing the lakes of St. Germain, Wisconsin, a four-hour drive from Milwaukee, five hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. It's hard to put our adventures on hold, but now is the perfect time to prepare for their return. Amsoil has your back with fast, free shipping, and ordering has never been easier. Just look up your vehicle, Select your product, add an oil change to your cart, and check out. Spend $50 on Amsoil products, and shipping is on us. Order now at Amsoil.com. The first thing that we're going to do today is attack panfish in the basin of a lake. Just gives it a little extra flavor or smell. Fishing jumbo perch in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. This is not too early to come out and catch walleyes, huh? It's never too early. This middle of May stuff for walleyes, it's cool. It's a night and day difference putting the bait mate on. This is ranked as one of the top smallmouth destinations in the world. And that bait mate does work, doesn't it? It does. August is a great time to come here. We're going to be targeting lake trout today. It's fall. <laughs> well, yeah, it is fall. It's really a blast coming out here musky fishing. Catch more fish all year long with Baitmate Fish Attractant. Check it out at baitmate.com. Over time, there's always been this game of nip and tuck with professional shallow water guides balancing weight with power. With the new 140 G2, now I have an inline three cylinder that will still allow me to float in less than 10 inches of water. The bonus is, is I've got all the power and torque I want now, and I've got way more speed than I deserve. Folks, taking a break from the fishing, we just learned that the Wisconsin State Supreme Court overturned the Wisconsin Stay Safer at Home order, which means, of course, right now that all businesses, restaurants, and bars can reopen. And Rob, there's still more to be decided, but if you can reopen, you're going to do it with many safety measures in mind. Oh, right. No, I mean, we can reopen, but there's going to be a set of guidelines that are provided to us on with taking care of all the social distancing rules and what you know necessary precautions we have to and our employees have to do to make everything safe and, and enjoyable for people when they come into the bar and the restaurant. Well, Fibbers is my favorite supper club in northern Wisconsin. Great steaks, great seafood, great lake perch. You guys have it all, but you really do need the business up here, Rob, don't you? Yeah, no, this is great news. This is going to give us, you know, an extra weekend, an extra week of uh, actually being able to open. And, uh, you know, it's a good preparation before the busy Memorial weekend so we can get everything in order and make it a smooth transition from how it used to be. It was fun catching those crappies, folks, but right now we're going to do a little switcheroo and start fishing for walleyes. And uh, we got a little cloud cover move in, and, and that high blue sky is gone, and uh, that made fishing tough. But, uh, Rob, you like the cloud cover here when we start the walleye fishing, right? Well, yeah, with the clouds coming, we've got a front actually coming in, John. So anytime uh, you have that, no matter what you're fishing for, a change in weather, you know, is always a good thing, especially when you're, especially when you're looking for predator type fish. So we'll see what happens here and uh, hopefully the rain stays off and, and we can get a good afternoon of fishing in here. Okay, it was fun catching the crappies, switching to walleyes, and Robbie's got one. Feel like a good one, Rob? Uh, I don't know, we'll see, John. You need the clam? Uh, I don't yeah, know. Well, it looks decent. Yeah, looks like an eater. Yeah, that, that's an eater size walleye right there. Good job, Rob. Now you're using a jig and minnow right now, and that's basically just to find the fish, right? Maybe we can switch to some plastics. Yeah, I mean, it's been cold these mornings, John. You know, that one's actually still holding eggs. Um, but, uh, you know, these cold mornings, these fish have been kind of lethargic, and, uh, you know, 
Once again, we get blessed with an east wind today, which, you know, we can't do anything about. <laughs> here we go, Robbo. What do you got? Yeah, I got a nice walleye on there. I, we might need the clam here. Ooh, yeah, get that net, Blake. Get that net. That fish was up in five feet of water, Rob, in, in the weeds. Quick, I don't want to lose him. He's a nice walleye. There we go. Beautiful walleye. Nice color to him, too. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it is interesting this time of year, folks, you don't know whether to fish deep or shallow. And Rob, that's a nice walleye, isn't it, Rob? Very nice, John. Yep, and see how he T-boned that Kalins right there? And uh, that's cool. But, uh, you know, that's the thing, you know, this time of year, Rob, uh, 49 degree water temps, these walleyes can be in almost any depth, right? Well, especially over the last several days, John, you know, we've had just a tremendous cold front roll through, you know, we've had winds all around the compass, nothing's consistent, so it's got the fish a little confused, and uh, I mean, I think, yeah, you could probably find fish deep and shallow. Way to go! Way, now, keep your rod tip high and real now. <laughs> this doesn't seem real. Well, it let's hope it's like a, a ooh, what do you oh, got? Cool. A walleye, Blake. Get the clam. Oh, here, Rob, can I hand you this buddy oh there this you. felt that felt great yeah <laughs> i bet it did that nice nice eater walleye come on there and you know it really is interesting folks this time of year too you know rob is a guy that taught me how to fish wood and he also loves to fish weeds and blake how did that bite feel by the way i mean it wasn't a big hit because i'm using a minnow because of the Cold front. They are today, but man, it felt good to catch a fish. Yeah, you've been working hard, and that's a beautiful walleye there. Yes. Folks, in your jigging plastic or jigging minnow for that matter, a good super line is really important. Now, we prefer the high vis smackdown line by Seaguar, and you can run 15, 20, 25 pound tests, and it casts great. And uh, you just change your leader material to adapt to what you're fishing for four pound for crappies, six pound for, or eight pound for walleyes. But Rob, what are some of the reasons that you like using that high vis cigar line? Well, John, like you said, you know, you can see everything on a day like today where you don't have the ideal wind direction to fish and you're gonna get a bow in your line. You know, any added sensitivity that you can give yourself is, is key when you're feeling bottom or feeling a strike. And then it also allows me to tie, I, I'm actually running a 20 pound leader just for some added strength. So if you do get caught up in a log, you can straighten out your jig hook, you know, get your jig back and, and uh, bend it back into shape. Ooh, back of the boat now, Rob. All right. Hey, we got something going here, maybe. I don't know, it's fun though. Let's see what we got here. I think we got ourselves another walleye coming in. Need a net or are you nah, gonna flip her? We'll just do the, maybe we will do the old flipper Rooney oh, nice. there. there. Whoa, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> On that Caitlin's uh, jerk minnow again, Rob. And one thing folks, if, when you're fishing shallow water with these Caitlin's jerk minnows, I like to use either a small darter head or a small Google eye jig. An eighth ounce is perfect. I like as light as possible. And uh, Rob, these are just really nice average size walleyes. Now, folks that are going to be coming up, fish. Oh, there's fish. Got one. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Now, steady, steady retrieve here. Steady I know retrieve. Not a real dad. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. We need the net here. Ooh, that's Ooh, a nice there. walleye, Blake. Ooh, a doubler. Yeah, all right. Way to go. Let's see now how the guide hands me the net there. That's all right. Well, you got one in your hand. Yeah, might might as well have two. two. Blake, boy, did he ever eat that, too. Come on back here, I know, sweetie. I'm coming. And I have the minnow on, and you have the plastic. Yep. And uh, each try out different stuff. All right, now yours is bigger. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Nicely done though. But it, walleye fishing is, is so much fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is, especially up here in St. Germain. It's always a good time in May. And that, could you feel that bite or was what was it like? It was still a little light bite because you know, they're not very active, but they still want the minnow. So. I'm so proud of you. Thank That's you. two beautiful walleyes. That's uh, your dinner. Yes, yummy. <laughs> Everybody loves bacon. And guess what? 
I found something even more flavorful than bacon from Johnsonville. Oh yeah, those are the new Johnsonville sausage strips. And they come in a couple different flavors, right? Yep, original maple spicy and chorizo. And the best way to cook these folks is put them on medium to high heat and cook them until they're a little crispy. That's the best way. Or you can put them in the microwave for just a couple of minutes and they're just as good and crispy. Yeah, Dad, I love the Johnsonville sausage strips for breakfast with my scrambled eggs and dinner with my BLTs. And I'll tell you what, they are better than bacon. Oh, yeah. Johnsonville sausage strips are now available at Myers, Festival of Foods, and Woodlands, and they're coming to your favorite retailer quite soon. Hey, hey, look at that! Woo! Rob, what does Blake have? Oh, a teensy, teensy, Well, that's teensy, all right. Teensy, bring teensy, him in, bring him in. <laughs> That's okay, Blake. They're, they're fun, aren't they? Yeah, they're fun, but I mean, it is fun to catch a fish, especially with this slow day, but hey, you get what you get, right? Now, are you enjoying the mist? <laughs> love the mist. <laughs> you love the mist, you love the wind? Yep, I mean, you can't choose the weather, right? Got a pickup? Oh, you got him. <laughs> All right, way to go, Rob. It's funny how you say fish before. <laughs> Ooh, he's fighting pretty good. Uh, I think we got a bass here, Ooh, Johnny. Ooh, something D. different. Oh, that's a beauty. Blake, get that net. Get that net, Blake. That's a beautiful largemouth bass, Rob. That was on a jig and minnow? Yeah. Such a baby hit, too. Really? Yeah. Boy, that, and he ate it, man. Oh, he's Ooh, actually nice. not hooked that bad. He's that's a right chunker. Upper lip. <laughs> that is a chunker, Blake. Stand next to Robbo there. That's a nice fish. Good job, Rob. That's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. And you know, we got to tell the folks, and you and I talk about this frequently, that, that largemouth bass fishing is so underrated up here, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you know, this time of year, like you said, when you're fishing shorelines and, and you're, you know, fishing wood and whatnot, I mean, you're going to catch pike, you're going to catch walleyes, you're going to catch, you know, both species of bass. Ooh, I think I got myself a walleye, Rob. Nice. There we go, buddy. Boy, he did not hit hard at all. I don't know if I, well, I guess I will just do the old flipper. He's not hooked very good. A decent walleye right there. And that was sitting off a brake line. These fish are all over the place, yeah. folks. I mean, we've caught them in, in four feet of water. We've caught them in 10 feet of water. We've caught them in weeds. We've caught them in wood. You just don't know where they're, where they're going to be, you know. And I think, you know, Rob, when you think about a transition period for walleyes, when the, you know, when they're done spawning, and they only spawned like a week ago, they stay in that spawning area for a while. And, and what do they do then? Disperse to different areas? Well, there's always a, that time period when there's that lull after you know the fish have that little recoup time you know before, where, where there's just kind of like a somewhat of a shutdown but then they'll uh, you know once once you get a few days past that and water warms up and conditions stabilize you know then there's going to be a, a massive uh, feeding window that will happen folks guess what we're giving away a spring fishing package by Blackfish and Clam. This package includes a new women's or men blackfish rain suit, a pair of arid waterproof soft shell gloves, an angler UPF sun hoodie, and the choice of a Clam Fortis landing net. To enter is simple. Just go to facebook.com slash Gillespie Fishing. Good luck, everyone. The Kales Google Eye Jig features a built-in glass rattle that creates a deadly combination of sight and sound. Its shockwave rattle system has been designed to call fish in. The lifelike rattle reflects the light and adds a dimension like no other. Available in two styles and 13 colors. Fish, I think it's a pike, but it's a fish. At this point, it's... Oh, there. Oh, oh Blake. Second cast after I lost that one. Well, let's open it. Hey. Now Maybe that's a little bit pike. better pike there, Blake. Uh, I flip her Lift in. Him up with the line. Oh, oh. oh that counts. <laughs> that does count. That, don't you think, Rob? <laughs> a Minnesota release. There you go. Now that counts as a fish, Blake. Rob, this one feels a little bit better. I don't know. I hope it's not one of those pike that Blake has been catching. Well, Blake, I'll tell you what. You brought the pike, huh? I guess so. <laughs> that was a good release, too. You brought the pike, huh? I guess. But, I mean, you know, catch what you catch, like I said before. It's yeah, been well, a tough day. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. getting to be... Eh, we're having fun, though. I mean, yeah. that was a good hit. Yeah. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2020 Fishing Contest. 
This week's first winner is Bill Arndt of West Bend. He caught this 15-inch crappie on Big Cedar Lake. Daniel Pulver of Partyville caught this 40-inch carp on Lake Puckaway on a MAPS. Dan Berghofer of Oconomowoc caught this 32-inch walleye on Green Bay on a jig and rapella. Anthony Heck of Colgate caught this 26-inch largemouth in Washington County on a shiner. And this week's kids winners are Ryder Litzinger of Devil's Lake, North Dakota caught this 28-inch walleye on Stump Lake on a minnow. And Mason Coach of Eau Claire caught this 14 inch crappie on Lake Altoona on a minnow. Each week I shop online at fleetfarm.com to check out the latest deals. Check out what I found this week. Buy one get one 50% off of the suffix advanced monofilament fluorocarbon or 832 braided fishing line and save $10 on the Berkeley lightning spinning combo on sale for $49.99. Hey there you go buddy. And we have ourselves a walleye. What'd you put on there, Rob? I uh, got a plastic on John, a swim bait. Oh, yeah, that's that Kalen's paddle. Yeah, that's a good bait. Yeah. And uh, just working it real slow? No, actually, I just was straight cranking that in to, to make another cast, and that fish hit it. But, you know, just a nice little chunky fish right there. Two in a row, that's your next cast, isn't it? Yeah, but I got his little baby brother. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing, though, how those small walleyes will hit a big bait, you know? Well, yeah, that, that little guy was pretty aggressive. But, I mean, walleyes are, in general, a very aggressive fish. Rob Manthai guides all of Vilas County on a daily basis. For more info, give Rob a call. That phone number is 715-477-2042. 477-2042. The Kalen's Google Eye Swing Head features a wide base with a built-in glass rattle that puts off a lot of vibration and noise under the water. And the wide base allows it to not get snagged as much along the bottom. Check this out in three sizes and three colors. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. From the kennel to the coop, whatever the season, Fleet Farm has everything to keep your animals happy and healthy. Whether it's keeping the backyard birds well-fed season, mastering those retrieval skills season, or wondering who takes care of who season, there's a reason people say if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it, because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Hey, thanks, Rob. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet, but we will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. This is me. This is everything done here. See you.